Uh, hopefully a three-day extravaganza. Um, so here we go. Pseudo su dash Leela. Switch user to Leela. Change directory to Leela. Run. And navigate to the chess server. Gosh darn it. Uh, I forgot that I'm going to need to re-register my account. Having created the box yet again, I need to uh, submit my name and email address and all that fun stuff. Uh, good news is I am making substantial progress, and I think today I'm actually going to get some testing in. Keep in mind, this is just the test page, so don't freak out over the Lee Chess is down in message. Um, if anything, that should have my name there instead of leechess.org. I should change that message. I will. It's not up yet. I expect it would be up much faster. Okay, got my extra display here. And I should have a chat window loaded in a minute or two. Let's see. Yeah, Leecha says it's running. Did I goof up in the configuration of this somehow? I can entirely, entirely believe that I might have goofed up, um, but I'd like to hope that that's not the case. Also, I'm not allocating as much memory as I expected. Um, yeah, that's not right at all. I should be allocating four gigs of memory. Um, exit profile. Yeah, okay. Those lines didn't make it into my profile. Um, SBT ops. Star. Wait, where am I? Okay. Grip R SBT options. I'm gonna grab. Oh, I can't put that in this buffer because it needs to go on my clipboard.
Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, hang on. This is what I want, is to be able to export these variables each time I log in. Uh, I don't need the slash, or this slash, or this slash, or this one. Uh, or this one can go. Uh, this slash can go. There we go. Oh gosh, no wonder it took so long to compile. Um, Alright, let's try that. Use all the memory that's available. Oh, come. oh I forgot. Uh, I need to load that file. Um, which apparently has some invalid characters in it. What did I goof? How did I goof? Uh, this slash should not be there. Try it again. Run. Okay, now we're running with four gigs of memory. We're cooking with gas. And I'm going to open my chat window because maybe somebody's actually watching. Okie dokie. Open up my chat window. Um, change my game from game development to chess, because even though I am doing game development, um, the game I'm developing is very, very much chess related. There we go. Uh, somehow, I have no idea how, it's applying a dark theme, even though I didn't specify one. It must be some weird browser cookie thing. Um, but there's no way that it remembers who I am, because I just recreated the server instance today. Uh, so one second while I go create a new account. Bear with me. Sign in. Register. Me is my name. No, just kidding. Um, and let's pick an email. And checkmate black. And certify that I am not a robot. Well, that was an interesting captcha. Uh, crap. Crappity crap. Um, that really sucks. This worked yesterday. You all saw it work yesterday. I'm not just completely mad. I'm only mostly mad. Uh, so what gives? Why did this fail me now? Okay. Maybe that was just a login thing, and just the login page doesn't work. Okay, so I've got to go uh, defeat the CAPTCHA. Or rather, I've got to... Um, what is it? I've got to disable email verification, because I don't have a mail gun up and running. Um... So, we're going to sudo su-lila clila grep must confirm email uh, out of the entire system. Somewhere in here it's got to require email. 
Um, and that's not it. Uh, let's check the security API. Yeah. Here we just gotta say, you know what? Even if you still require an email verification, we're gonna let you through just for now. Um, just for now special. Alright, so... Maybe I'm now authenticated. Maybe not. Alright, so... What SSH extension am I using? I'm using, uh, what's it called? It's called Secure Shell for Google Chrome. Um, that's the SSH extension I'm using. <laughs> Plugs right into your browser. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Keep continuing trying to log in. Arned, we're in. And I'm gonna play with the machine. Unless the playing with the machine button doesn't work. Um, in which case, we're not gonna play with the machine. We're just gonna play by ourselves. No. Um, let's try that. Hopefully things compile faster today. I thought this is all compiled because the compile script ran um, while I was away and it said it completed. Uh, apparently completed means different things to you and me than it does to the computer. Momentarily, everything should be built and I should be able to click on buttons and things. So in the meantime, I'm just preparing Stockfish to meet its maker here. A um, little bit of a joke, because in some way I did kind of make some parts of Stockfish, so I guess that does make me its maker. Um, Whoopsie daisy. Typo. Okay, let's get this up here. So while Leechus is busy um, compiling and stuff, I can still do Stockfish stuff. Um, so let me first try. Uh, just verify that it runs. Uh, command is UCI. All right. Um, that's good. Stockfish runs. Um, the next test. Um, oh yeah, I was going to reconfigure some of the uh, engine configuration stuff. Which had been configured yesterday. Um, but needs a little bit of tuning today. Uh, is this done yet? Nope, still going. 
Okay. So, I did change this to be the Fibonacci sequence. Two, three, five, eight. That's not eight. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Thirty-four. Uh, fifty-five. And I changed one other thing here with move time. Uh, I think I removed own book because it's not used anywhere. Um, I'll check in another shell window what it is that I did. Um, so downloads. What did I change? Modules, AI, source, main, config. Yeah, so I changed the move time to make this. Well, because it doesn't need so much time for lower levels. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good way to configure it. Uh, wait, what did I do here? Yeah, I did change the skill line. So rather than the old formula, just take total skill, divide by eight. That should result in a more even, equitable distribution of skill. Um, and then yesterday for readability, I had changed um, just where we're seeing case R this, case A that, whatever. Just pointing out that that R and that A really don't have anything to do with anything outside the function. Um, and yeah, that all looks good. Um, is this done compiling yet? No, it doesn't need to be. I don't even need to reissue a compile. I could just refresh this page, and we'll see in my console that it goes to try to reload the source code, or not, you know. Where am I? SBT compile, if I can spell compile. Oh yeah, I can spell it. Um, yep. Hey, LC, how's it going? Yeah, Stockfish, because Stockfish is open source, it means that if I'm going to redistribute any of my changes, I have to distribute the source code too. I'm legally obliged that if I deliver Stockfish, I must also make its source code available. And yeah, I, of course I want to make it available. <laughs> I want Stockfish to be awesome. I've certainly accepted contributions and source code. Um, from people who admittedly have not given the source code rigorous testing and probably could have and should have. Um, but yeah, I'm more than willing to contribute it, see it used elsewhere, and improve upon it. It's just awesome to me that we have, that um, folks who run Leech Us want to do these things like running, running AIs and doing game analyses. And I want to try to add to that if I can, just trying to make the best uh, thing to help players improve their game. Um, Alright, now can I play with the machine? Yes. Um, let's see. Grip. Uh, how's this go? Include only Scala files in the search. Uh, I mean, it should be dot .scala, not that that matters. I don't remember how to spell it. There we go. And now i got to find... Where's that defined? Okay, game.scala.
so it can analyze. Standard, 960. King of the Hill, 3 check. We're going to add two more here, if I may. Atomic and Horde. Um, so I'm going to add these here. Uh, what else? There's like playable variants or something. I forget how to do this. Okay. So, if I click here, am I going to get a different listing than I used to have? Maybe. Okay, so it's recompiling the one change I made. Um, I'm going to be right back. Uh, come on. Let me challenge the machine. I want to see what variants I can play. Okay, there was something else I had to do. Um... Let's see, where would I find this? I would have to search for uh, three check across the... Uh, that's quite a bit. Um, not across everything, just across modules. And across all this, I still have to find it somewhere. Uh, there's a variant test. Okay, let me just throw in a whole bunch of blank lines and try this again. Alright, so... Boosting, JSON, performance updater, config. Is this it? This looks promising, guys. I've been here before. Um, yeah, so we're going to add to that. Atomic and horde. Um, variants with variants can stay, that can stay. Okay. Um, and we're going to try compiling my changes. If I remember right, one of these causes some kind of compile error because something needs to be imported. But, yeah, hopefully soon um, we'll be able to play Stockfish and Atomic. Um, and yeah, once this is up and going, uh, that's going to be awesome. And I can write off my emails to various folks who are interested in doing some serious testing with this Atomic engine. Um, yeah, I, I certainly have exposed um, in the stream my domain name. Uh, so really, anybody could log in and play against it. Um, let's see. Okay, that actually compiled, which is more than I expected. So just give me the lobby. Give me the lobby. Okay, we're going to rebuild the UI, because you never know. Changing lists of variants that are legal for the engine might cause some of these scripts and stuff to change. Uh, do I have any error messages just yet? Not yet. I thought there were two more things I had to change for this to show Atomic. Yeah, okay, I got three check. Well, that's always been there. Um, darn it, where was this? So, I need to search for three check across these files and see where else was this? Somewhere. Um, 
there's a simul form. Sense opening sensible variants. Yeah, I don't know. Analyzable variants. Variants are why it's better. Um, just a whole bunch of test classes. Where do I? Okay. I'm gonna need to cheat a little bit here. Um, all right. This shows me the history of the file and who changed what and when. Um, Sometimes some change in here. Um, three check was implemented. Oh, hang on. So, yeah, it looks like one of these few revisions here. Probably this one. Um, git log this? That's okay. Ah, yes, here we are. Uh, git diff this? I don't know anything about git. Well, I do know a little bit, but... Um, let's see, does anybody know how to use git? <laughs> um, git changes for, re for commit. It's not called a revision, it's called a commit. Yeah, I just want to see what changes one commit. Oh, commit arrow versus commit. Alright. We can do that. Um, there's my command. Um, get diff. Arrow. Commit. Commit. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, how did I mess that up? Oh, commit arrow. Commit. Um, or commit carrot. I am totally the best at get. There we go. Setup helper. Alright, let's change setup helper. Um, client. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll get there one thing at a time. Vim this. Yeah, there's three check translated variant choices with variants. Uh, translated AI variant choices. Here's where we do our magic. Um, we grab these two lines and put them down here. And make sure to put the appropriate delimiter between the lines. All right, what other things do we have to change to enable that? Uh, Ooh, I don't remember any of that. Oh, because Horde has this weird start position. He has to do all those fun things. Config. Um, right. Uh, so I have to go into here and let the engine know which variant it's playing. Um, and the new one is going to be Atomic. And I think this was the thing that failed to compile earlier. Uh, it's probably going to fail again. Uh, grab all this. I'm going to have to look at this. So, AI source main client.scala. Client.scala. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for play. Stored fen. Oh, okay, this is all still there. Good, I don't need to recode that. Um, what else? What else? Anything? Um, oh, yeah, I have to define this up in wherever. Actor API. And say, you know, Atomic is a variant. Uh, and we represent Atomic with the word Atomic and with the constant 
of capital A atomic um, game dot scala um, wait oh this is in a different package game source main game dot scala Oh yeah, we already looked at that. What else do I have to look at? Um, all right, and config that's good. So I think I got everything. So we're gonna compile and see it fail somehow. Things never work the first time ever. Um, oh, git show will do something very similar. Um, okay, well let's take a look at this. Git show. Shows one or more objects. Look at all these awesome options. There's a bajillion things you can do with that. I don't care. I just want my code to work. Alright, so... Um, in just a couple minutes... Once this successfully compiles, I'll be not only myself testing this, but... Uh, welcoming anybody else who's interested to also have at it. I don't know how many AIs I can run at the same time, but I think one is probably more than enough for the entire Twitch community, and possibly the entire Lee Chess community. I think if they were all banging away on this full time, they still wouldn't stress it. Um, and if they did, I'd find a way to performance tune it, but yeah, I don't think anybody could um, hold a candle to this chess engine, or whatever the expression is for seriously challenging something. Um, it, this atomic AI has completely blown me out of the water. And we're just talking here about... Oh. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I got a new mic. Um, on and off I've been using this one, but right now I'm sitting um, very close to the mic so I'm sure it's picking up uh, me and all my energy a lot better than in most streams because honestly this stream I am a bit more energetic awake and active um, some of these other streams I haven't been quite so alert but I've been just alert enough to keep ahead of the computer and try to monitor the stream at the same time uh, okay. Atomic! Level 8. Let's go. Alright. By the way, it does not know openings at all. I'll just put that out there. So when it beats me in however few moves it takes to beat me... Well, I know I suck at Atomic, but still. Um, uh, it's not because of some opening book. It really is calculating and seriously out calculating me. Uh. Kaboom! Alright. Well, I'm dead. I am so dead. Yeah, that's GG. Let's, um. Let's get the analysis board and verify that we can analyze. And, yeah, anybody who wants to play and try to take on Stockfish. Have at it. I will be trying to code and improve Stockfish at the same time, and it's possible I might take it down once or twice or ten times while we're going. But it would be awesome to see people just wallop on it. Or try to, anyhow. Um, yeah. So, that said, feel free to register an account. Um, let 